Charles D'Angelo. Yes. Char Charles called me up one day, and he leaves me a message. I'm like, ah, I don't, I don't want to. So I'm, I'm dodging his phone calls for like a week and now, a half. Now, put this in context. <laughs> Let's not uh, take this out of context. What was going on around that time, McGraw? I was gaining weight rapidly. McGraw was missing appointments, oh, coming yeah. up with every story under the sun. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> I had an emergency meeting today, Charles, I five minutes before. I was abducted by the aliens. I couldn't make it. <laughs> I've got a call with the Radio Hall of Fame. They're considering me. Yeah, that's uh, not, I've got to go to North Korea. I didn't use that one. So he's calling me. He's going, no, he's like, call me. He's like, call me back. I'm like, no, not calling back. Finally, he's like, I got third row tickets to Billy Joel. Do you want them? That's why I'm calling you. Two seconds later, I was like, I'll take him. You betcha. <laughs> and McGraw was there, and then the next week he was back in the office. There you go. Uh, Ladies yeah. and gentlemen, we do whatever it takes. Yes, so <laughs> if you want third row tickets to Billy Joel. No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. But uh, speaking of it, we did see Ron Waterman here a few minutes Ron ago. Ron Waterman was looking good, yeah. yeah. Ron lost 110 pounds, and yeah. he is, is he the PR director with? He's some hot I, think part of the director of I don't know, he's yeah. director of everything for the yeah. St. Louis Cardinals. Lost 110 pounds with me six years ago and has kept it all. Yeah, it looks good. It looks yeah. great. Um, good. All right, how's the book, Inner Guru, going? Mm, excellent. Very, yeah. very good. It's for a book. It's a book for people who feel like nothing works. If you feel like... You've tried everything, you've tried to change, you start making progress and you fall backwards. If you don't deal with the emotional side of things, you know, no one's going to wake up every day and say, I want to diet, I want to exercise. So you've got to get to a place where you understand why it's a must for you to really follow through, to stay consistent and have compelling goals. But if you find that you're more focused on your history than you are on your future, it's very difficult to do that. Uh, you have been doing this for a while. You put your money where your mouth is because you I was, was 360 pounds as a teenager, 16, 17 years old came from a, a family of modest means. You know, if you open up the newspaper, my story was as sad as anyone else's. Uh, we all go through certain things, and we can either use the things we go through as reasons to excuse our responsibility or reasons to change. I looked at my environment. My mom was the most loving person I could have imagined having as a mom up to about age 10, and then she started to struggle with substance abuse. My dad was blue-collar, hardworking, and bred a really good work ethic in me, but he was overweight, and he came from a family of obesity. So I could have used all that and said, well, considering my circumstances, my future is going to be the same as my family's. But I didn't. I, I set a different standard on myself. And so the book is an effort to take the disciplines and the strategies that a person uses to achieve weight loss goals and apply it to other areas. So it definitely helps you with food, but also alcohol, money, uh, relationships. If you start to change your life in the sense of really improving your energy, feeling better, Think about the impact that has on every other level of your life. You've worked with me before. When you are fit, when you feel good, when you're in charge of your life, how much better do no you question. find you everything feel else? No You feel a million times better. Yes. And when you don't, then it's everyone else's fault, and you blame everybody else, and Charles, leave me and alone. And you start dodging and, phone calls. And you start dodging phone calls. <laughs> it's so amazing, right? When you when you are accountable to yourself or somebody else, and you're doing the right thing. When things, you have a coach, you, it's really amazing. So it really is amazing. You can take what I do with people in the office and digest it all, no pun intended, in a weekend. Take that, you know, you get me at your house asking the same types of questions I ask my clients that really start the process of change like you've had and others I've worked with have had. It does, it, having, being accountable to someone. Having someone think, who cares, who's invested. I think really sometimes helps. we all get really good at telling ourselves a story right? Uh, to excuse ourselves from doing what we know. Most of what my work focuses on isn't it really telling people what to do, it's reminding them of what they already know. It's helping them get that, that emotionality out of the situation, or at least understand it better, so that they can really start to direct their life in an empowering way and make their life magnificent. The book is called Inner Guru. Bookstores everywhere. Everywhere. Amazon.com. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my website, charlesdangelo.com. You can find a lot there. What I want people just to recognize is you don't have to settle. If you've been overweight most of your life, if you've been on a handful of medications, Go to the website, watch the videos, don't take my word for it, listen to the people who have been touched, who have been impacted by the things that I do with them, and take that and recognize, hey, you can always go back to doing what you're doing that isn't working. Right. Why not try something different? You know what I do that is my sort of downfall is when I mess up, when I cave, I beat myself up so yes. bad that I'm, oh, I'll just have another hamburger. Oh, yeah, I'll have another, yeah. right? And Me, so it starts that black and white yeah, thinking of, yeah. you know, I already screwed up, so the whole weekend's gone. Right. So part of yeah. that is catching yourself and being strategic rather than tactical because diets don't work. You've yeah. got to have a strategy. There isn't an answer, but there is a strategy, and I love to teach people yeah. how to do that because there are a lot of people that are suffering. I also read recently where willpower is a muscle. So the more you say no and the more you sort of, right, keep the – it's I, easier I, to say no. Listen, this is, this is awesome. Yeah, Kelly. It's, I got it's, 20 seconds. Okay, I'm going to make it fast. 
when you catch your mind drifting off of something, when you pull it back to what you want to focus on, like concentrate, that's one rep mentally. So anytime you find yourself going off of track and you catch yourself and you bring yourself back to doing what you know, that's strengthening the muscle, just like an yeah. up and down repetition in the weight room. CharlesAngelo.com. Thanks, buddy. Inner guru, pick it up. 